straight from Cancun, I I was in the I was in those like little uh, little shitty dorms on the side of the courts hearing the tennis balls like late at night. Yeah, and I'm on the. They have stories for juniors too. That's crazy, bro. I think that they only have crazy. stories for pros. I also have a story for juniors. Nah, 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 I was I was throwing up everywhere that week. It was the worst week of my life. Worst week of my life. <laughs> it was so unsanitary, man. Like I just I couldn't do it. Welcome back to the Change World Podcast. My name is Justin Roberts, and I'm with my brethren, the co-host, uh, Antigua's pride and joy, Jordy McGinley. <laughs> Not to be confused with Adrian Manorino, if he had his hat off. I got a little shiny bald head. Yep. Oh, Dennis Pula. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a guest today. This man either doesn't respect me at all, or he's just the worst texter on earth. I can't get a message back from the guy. It takes two or three business days to get an answer from him. So, cap. We'll see. We'll see how it how it goes today. Well, he's a good tennis player. He was career high, I think, 108 in juniors, and he's got a couple points right now in the pros. He's 19 years old. He's going to Auburn in August, I guess, this month. We have Joey Phillips. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Hey guys, excited to be here. Excited to be here. I've been trying to get here for a bit. Uh, love these guys. They they've been training with me for for a good bit, probably like two years. Yeah. I think I think my first practice was with you guys. I could tell you're like feeling me out. I remember <laughs> that first practice. <laughs> like I, I'm serious, swim. Chris. Yeah, it was at, uh, no no, it was at Pompeii. Pompeii. Okay. Was I, at Pompeii actually, yeah. I remember. I was, I was here for a PT too, like 2022, and Chris was like. It was like, oh, these guys are like feeling you out, like seeing if you're cool or not. Yeah. Like, oh <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just trying to warm for my match. I'm getting feeled out. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I was that fun to you in the beginning. You know, to be honest, I yeah. think I'm a little much. I'm a little much. I so. think you that's, warmed that's up to fair. Jody first, and then me. Hundred percent. Yeah. Jo- yeah. Jody got me right. Yeah. That's, that's what I said. That's normally the case. Yeah. That's normally. I the like case. people. That's fucks. <laughs> that's fucks. But no, Joey, thanks for coming. We were supposed yeah, to have Joey on. Like a month ago, two yeah. months ago, Bro, yeah, probably two months ago. You know, people, more than one person has texted me and asked, "Where's the episode, with Joey?" Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Wow, they want to yeah. see me. And and That's you have crazy. some questions from some. Uh, some but they see you every day on Instagram with that yeah. with that friggin' um, that ad, oh that cigarette ad, unreal yeah. ad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I saved that ad. We're gonna play that ad right now. Actually, yeah. in, in, in insert thing. clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clip, it. clip it. Exactly. <laughs> I that, saved that it. That was sure. the toughest ad I, I think I could have ever gotten. Like, I mean, it's like, I'm I'm cool with doing that kind of stuff, but for me, it's like so cringy sometimes to do ads and everything. It's like, oh my god, who filmed it? Yeah. yeah, my girlfriend did. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it was like crazy. It was so tough. I tried to pick someone that I was really comfortable with doing. It. I'm like, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> I think it took like three hours in three different courts. I tried to do it at my court at home. <laughs> I saw it with construction. It was sandpiper. Yeah, yeah it was, sand it was at sandpine. Yeah, yeah. And like, we had to find like a court. Then there's like kids playing. And like balls rolling over, it was it was a grind. It's it awkward, huh? Yeah, but I mean, we had that chance. Got through it. Talking on camera is not easy. Like we've done the pro stringer commercials and stuff, and mm-hmm. it's always you know we started doing the like commentary on videos. Yeah, so hard to do. Really? Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's so much easier because you get to write what you want. Yeah. Like the pro stringer? Do they make you do like? Because they send me like a whole document. Who pro stringer? No. Um, oh, Sigurd. Sigurd. No, I mean they what I say they they had specific things that they want me to say. I think we just we want us to freestyle and make make it real, like yeah. how we actually. Oh uh, yeah, I like that better to yeah. do like that. It is the pro stringer one is easier to do than the commentary because the commentary you have to time it with the video. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but I mean we're getting better at it, so let's I mean, get into I, it. I watch them. I watch them. You watch them? Yeah, like every single one. I like every single one. You do? Yeah. Check, in fact, check me on that one. I, check, I can definitely go to the Instagram now. and see if you like every single one. 100%. Right? Go there. Go, go there. Swear to God. Swear to God. Swear, I just watched the video on uh, the, the baseline game. Really? Yeah, where it's like, uh, open up the court, you know, like, yeah, they should have a Leave a comment next time. <laughs> yeah. Give us some engagement. A little engagement. Okay, fine. <laughs> I didn't know it works like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was I supposed to know that? Oh, good. God. All right, let's go. Over on the... You mentioned the girlfriend being here. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. So that's what this. We're gonna. Podcast. We went right in there. <laughs> right in there. This is my show. Um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna rank three things for a first date. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Top golf or some sort of activity. Dinner date or coffee. Yeah, I feel like coffee is like a lunch thing, though. Is coffee a a, a dinner date? Is that qualified to be a dinner date? No, no, no. So those are three separate things. So oh, it's like a so top golf. Oh, it could be a first date. We're ranking them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. I get How it, would I get you, it. What would you do for your first date? Top golf. Top golf one? I love golf. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bro. No, I would actually seriously do, I would seriously do a dinner date 
Top Golf and then Coffee Date. On the first go. Uh, date. Yeah. Interesting. Is that, that what you guys did? Uh, <laughs> is that what we did? I think we did. Jody. I think we did dinner date and then top golf. After. You're gonna get this man. We did both. You're and gonna then. get this man in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. in trouble. <laughs> I don't know if we went. Like Mo- moving on, moving on. Um, <laughs> Wait, I don't get to go. <laughs> go, go, go. I would say the activity, activity is yeah. one. So top I golf, me golf. I think coffee two, dinner three. I've never done din- um, coffee. You know, you don't drink coffee. I don't so. drink coffee. I can get a little tea. But, but I've never done it. That's Go a on. that's an over under right there. Like a uh, Bobby Urban. Yeah, liking to, coffee. Going to a coffee date and asking for tea is that's crazy. Yeah, that's great. Imagine I would I would frame it as let's go to a cafe. Yeah, but imagine being like, uh, let's go on a tea date. <laughs> let's, know? Go like, Je- let's go play. Let's go play Jenga. <laughs> British? Yeah, that's, 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 that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, freshman orientation over or underrated. <laughs> Overrated for Auburn. <laughs> Horrible. I think one of the worst things. I think everybody has the same opinion. They make it mandatory because you got to register for fall classes. Mm-hmm. And we were there two full days and we were up at, we had to be there at 7 a.m. the first day. And we didn't, we weren't allowed to leave until like 11, I think. We didn't mm-hmm. leave till 11. And that was just like the craziest thing. I think I walked 22,000 steps that day. <laughs> Total. Swear to God, I was I had my phone in my pocket to make sure I was tracking him, uh-huh. and it was the worst day ever. Food was bad, and goodness. it was like they do everything outside. It's hot, like horrible, like the worst thing ever. Where's Auburn? What state? Um, okay, thanks for that. Uh, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is an overly school. List. That's crazy. Okay, we're, we're, we're in the SEC too. The War Eagle. Let's see. Yeah, well, uh-huh. not nah, we're the Tigers. We're Tigers, oh. but our chant is like War Eagle. Hey. Huh? I Makes sense. Makes know. sense. I don't even know. I don't, they, I don't even. I don't ask the questions. Good academic school or no? Uh, it depends who you go into. Depends who you go into. What are you guys? What are you taking shots at me here? Like what? What's going on? What are you going into? Uh, business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Typical, typical business. Uh, like just any athlete goes to business. Yeah. Exactly. No, but they have a really good uh, program there. Or like, communication. Uh, What's the yeah, communication? communication is uh, the one I, want. I wanted to do a uh, survey of popular music as my major. What? No, that's a joke. It's like a, it's like an elective. It's like the easiest thing ever. <laughs> it's just for the credit, but it's like you just make jokes about it. I want to do a uh, popular music. That's do you want to play tennis? Yeah, after, I'm gonna. After. Yeah, after your college. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, okay, hundred percent. I mean, my goals would be to be playing well enough to leave after like a year or two if I'm playing really well. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll see how this first year goes because uh, the teams will. Kind of, we're kind of young. The yeah. Team. Um, we only have like two new recruits coming in. We'll probably have some guys coming in for spring, but it'll be interesting to see kind of like where everyone spaces out on the lineup. Is that something that you would have talked to the coach about before you went in? Like, is like the coaching staff, do they know that your aspirations are to play? Yeah, yeah. I think I think Bobby does a good job of he tries to recruit as many guys that want to go pro after college. So he's like fully there to shape you and grow you. As he was the bunch of himself, right? Yeah, he was like. I mean, like, I don't want to, you know, say their own ranking, but I think like around sixty in singles. Oh, good. So he he balled out for a good day. How old is he now? Uh, forty forty something, forty two. Oh, okay. good. Imagine like, nice. <laughs> you get every single stat wrong. I'm getting every stat wrong, guys. You're gonna play six, brother. <laughs> You're done. You're off the team, actually. No. I agree, I agree about um orientation. I didn't even go to my orientation. Well, I had to go. It's mandatory. Waste, so, well, some, waste some of time. Sport. No, it's horrible. It felt like it was like babysitting and like it was people who never left home before. Yeah. Like people who were going to be homesick and you, you get in little groups and you talk about garbage and you... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's what we the did. worst, bro. Yeah, like the group me groups or whatever. I don't know. Like Z- You know, my mom did my orientation for me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go introduce yourself to people. Like, dog, I don't need to be here, bro. Like, waste, no, I mean, waste of my time. Yeah. For what? I have a team. I'm going to a team. Yeah. I have I have seven friends that I need for the for the next four years and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> seven friends that you're given, whether you like them or not. That's it. Now. That's it. But yeah, I agree. I would definitely say that that's overrated. Overrated, especially if it's mandatory. It's overrated. Like if yours, like what you did, yours online. I didn't do mine. I didn't have one. So like, how, did, like, how did your mom do it? If it wasn't. Oh yeah, my mom was in person. So like oh, I went. She went in person. Yeah, oh, because your like, mom and had a bunch of seventeen and eighteen year old kids. No, literally, like <laughs> yeah, I, don't, have, don't they split it up? Like the parents, they split up mine. Like I don't know. Parents. My parents weren't there. Yeah, my parents were in there. I, and I don't even know if my mom did all of the stuff that was necessary. I just know that I started in, like I committed to school in November, or December, and then I went in January, and my mom and I went up because I've never been to the school before. 
It was cold. It was snowing. You and her went up, and she went to orientation. What did you do? Practice. Oh, fair. Because I started, it was just January. Like, I had to go on. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah, I was training. So. All right, next one for you. Didn't make a difference, though, because I was getting destroyed freshman year. <laughs> I think I won, like, five or six. You could have skipped that practice? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I could have skipped that school. I could have skipped that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. The cold plunge. Cold plunge. Ice baths. Over or underrated? Joke. Underrated. 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 I think, Why? I think they're the best way to recover, in my opinion. I feel amazing. At, like, the actual action of doing it sucks mm-hmm. so bad, but it feels amazing if you, yeah. if you commit to doing it. Um, I think it's really good for you, too. Like, since we're tennis players, it's like the court is so hard on our body and the movements and everything that we need something to kind of, like, help the inflammation. I think the cold plunge is the best. Hundred percent, or the theragun. Theragun's good too. Have you ever heard Jerry? Jerry, have you ever heard Joey say that many like normal words, like coherent, a make a coherent sentence? Yeah, coherent sentence. in my life. But he's he's here. He's, he's, go, he's, I, he's, go, he's going I, to college, I, man. I, I stay locked in. I stay locked in. <laughs> he's killing Don't don't get me locked out here. I stay he's on in. Adderall right now. <laughs> but I agree. I agree. No, no, I will say. No, sorry, they, sorry, they sorry. Prescribe that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not on that. I'm not on that. <laughs> not, don't have that. Not, not yet. Seriously. ADHD coming in 2025. Loading. Bring back ADHD. <laughs> I I think for the ice spot too, it's also like uh, it's rewarded mentally. Yeah, because right? like, it's so hard to do that. You have to like you have to have the confidence and the will to actually get in the ice spot mm-hmm. and then stay in after it hurts. So then you leave feeling like the adrenaline rush or oh, yeah. the I don't even know whatever happens chemically in the body, mm-hmm. but like you feel a relief and you feel like a. I just did something good to my body. So I think whether that's placebo or whether that's like, like I said, the adrenaline, I think yeah. it's, it's both. Like I agree with him. Like I feel the best after ice baths for recovery, but then also I feel like I did something good, like mentally. In- yeah, I agree. As like a life tool in the sense you're saying, like to build resilience and that stuff is good. Yeah. I would say it's underrated for that. I would say in terms of like, if I have a match to play tomorrow and like I finish a match and I'm dying and I have a match play tomorrow, that's probably the best way to not feel sore yeah, right 100%. after. But apparently, there's some science that says it's not the best thing for if you want to, let's say, build strength. Like if you that depends on what time you take the core yeah, yeah. plunge. Yeah, yeah. So if you take really? the core plunge, if you take the core plunge right after, let's say, a match or after lifting weights, you stop the body from going through that natural process. Yeah, to, the anaerobic phase and everything. Yeah. So the, you don't actually get the full benefits of the workout. But if you do it, I think, before or something like that, it's better. Yeah. And it's, actually better, it's actually better for, the, I guess, the hypertrophy and those things if you take a, a hot bath after. Yeah, I think, I think if you're training, like if, if I'm doing like, like if it's preseason or something, it's better to take it like maybe first thing in the morning. Yeah. So then, like, then if it's after it depends the on your goals, yeah. whether whether or like when you time, how you time it. It's definitely important to look into that. And apparently, there's a certain amount of minutes that you need a week. Yeah. So like, I think it was like maybe it's like 19 or it was like 12 or something. Like no? less, yeah, it's like 11, 11 or 12. Yeah, it's like 11 or like three minutes a day, minutes. like a few times a week. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in there. I'm in there. Like, hey, Ricard has me in there. Like, we used to do. Uh, ice baths not almost every day but you know every few days and he would have me in there like 15 minutes straight. yeah I, I think before and when I was in college I would do 10 or 15 minutes yeah. at the time but, but then now it's like this I don't know but the, the routine that I was doing was like 3 minutes cold then I would go in the hot for a little bit then yeah, 3 that, more that's minutes the contrast that's, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. A, people say that's the best way to do it yeah. and Where's I actually find effect? I find the second 3 minutes easier than the first like the first just getting 100%. in at the first time it hurts like crazy yeah. then it gets into the hot tub and you feel a little bit of relief but it it doesn't feel that hot because you've been freezing and then you go back into the cold yeah. and it's not as bad like I can the second time I can just go in yeah I mean I used to take cold plunge and then hot shower and at first the hot shower burns like crazy, yeah. It it does not feel like it burns you a little bit. No, like you feel like you're burning. I feel like I'm it's sitting in the water. So and it's not that hot. Like, I don't know if my body's in shock or something. That might not yeah. be the water, bro. Yeah, <laughs> water is not cold enough, huh? <laughs> no, bro. I hate I hate cold plunge, bro. Like, yeah. Especially back in in school, it was like we had a big pool. And yeah, it was cold, that's how that's how we did. People would be moving. Yeah, and uh, I used to shiver and uh, used to be so upset. Do you have full that. body? No, I got like neck. And then yeah, maybe yeah. at the end you go under. Ne- never in my life. What do you mean? You can't go 15 minutes under the water. No, and then you go under. At the end, you go under. It was like a dip. You yeah, go to so the neck. A, a dip. I've never been past the waist. Really? Yeah. I, 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 sometimes I, I, just, I, sit, I sit like neck deep in there. 
where it yeah. goes up to the neck. I did three minutes waist because I'm I'm a bitch. And then I go, <laughs> and then I, and I, I go, then I go full body, and then I go full body second battle. <laughs> full body, dude. All right. Would would you say that feeling motivated is over underrated as a tennis player? Hundred percent underrated. Underrated. Yeah. Hundred percent underrated. Explain yourself. I think. I think how you were saying like the placebo effect, I think the motivation is a little bit of a placebo effect because motivation works in different ways. I think uh, I feel motivation sometimes is the best when you don't feel great on some days and you get up and you go and you try your best and you feel like you really worked on something to get better. And those are days of like motivation where those days really get you better. Uh, that's like this is I would yeah, argue motivation. I would so I would argue that that's the opposite of motivation or the that's this that's discipline. That's, I don't think that that's like the whole concept of motivation. Like you're so motivated that on those days that you feel oh, like you're saying okay shit and you just you just have to get up. It's it's not necessarily like you're actually motivated, but it's just it's just something in your mind that just makes you go and you have to play, and it's like yeah, I think you're describing discipline, like the ability to do things even when you don't want to do that. Okay, you haven't started college yet. Let's figure it out. <laughs> I'm dictionary is gonna be. I'm homeschool, guys. I haven't done school. Since <laughs> so. don't, I think you're don't, a different concept than motivation. Don't, don't at me. Motivation don't is me. feeling like doing something. Don't at me. Um. Okay, so then if we're gonna do that, if it's like that's what we're doing. Okay, yeah. we're doing that. <laughs> guys, that's exactly I'm, what we're gonna do. I'm. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, then it's it's still underrated to me. Like when okay. I feel like really motivated and I'm just like I, I want to go, I want to play. I tend to play better. Okay. Like I tend to be in a happier state, like I'm motivated to play, you know, making mistakes or I'm not playing well. You know, I, I think like I was saying, even before we got on, like with the body and physically, it can make you pretty unmotivated. I don't know how about you, how you guys are. Like, let's say you're injured and you're going out and you kind of like, it just feels like it's hurting, you know, when you're playing, it can be like unmotivating. But when you feel good, like when I go to the gym and I feel good, it's, it's sick. Yeah. Like, the, the high you get from that is yeah. for me is the best. But I think. You know? that those days or those periods are they're like flashes like you're not gonna feel no, like 100%. doing something all the time no 100 percent. i so, think it's like i mean let's say i mean like you feel motivated with the way we play and the way we train i mean you feel motivated probably like 30 percent of the year maybe i don't know like what what the percentage is like mm -hmm. maybe half the percentage like you're not always motivated to go do and play everything. You it's know? funny because I was talking to Chris about that literally today. I was saying, like, I was watching this golfer. I can't remember who it was on these house tours. Like, they were doing tours of their house. And they asked him because he had, like, stuff at his house. Like, he had, like, a two or three holes at his house. And they were asking him, oh, you must use this all the time when you're here. It's like, bro, I never use this. Yeah. Like, when I come back home, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, I don't know the video. But yeah. I but he's like, when I come home from tour, it's like I play so much golf on tour. that when I come home, I just relax and I don't play that much golf. Mm -hmm. And I was saying to Beggy that I kind of feel that way. Mm -hmm. Like, before Mexico, I came here for a week. I barely wanted to play. Because it's been like three or four weeks on the road, one week at home. Three or four weeks, one week at home. And it's like, I barely want to do fitness. I barely want to go train. Like, it's just... I want to just enjoy. But is, that, is that because is that because y you don't like feel good and like you're just burnt out, like and not burnt out, but you yeah, play so much bit. that it's just like, like I don't really feel like any balls. Yeah, a little bit, and I think maybe because I've been doing decent that I don't feel panicked. Like, yeah. Because before my mentality was you're at home, you're at your home base, you're gonna train hard. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna train. It's time to get in shape. It's time to get resilient. So when you go on the road, you can last week. I actually, yeah. I, I agree with you on that one. Like when you're doing well those rest days are really easy to take off because yeah. it's just like, you know, you did well, you know, when you come back, you're probably going to feel good. And the confidence is also there. Yeah. You don't yeah. feel like you need to fix something or exactly. you're, exactly. you're falling behind. Yeah. or yeah. Yeah. Just by Like, I feel yeah. like I was hitting the ball pretty well. Like, for example, today you made a joke for me about serving. You said, oh, I haven't served in five days and I was like still serving well. Yeah, no, that, that, like, like, no, I didn't believe it. Like, I was like, there's no way. Yeah, so I, was, I was making the jokes like I haven't served in five yeah. days in eight. Yeah, yeah I, came, I came back from Davis Cup Sunday. I didn't practice Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Then I started training here Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I didn't serve until today. Man, just used to seeing them going in. Yeah. It just is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> when I throw it up, it goes in. Yeah. And yeah. pass the other man. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I, I, the thing is, I have a little bit of a ba uh, battle in my head about, like, motivation and discipline because I think I'm the kind of person where I like the group setting. So if, if you tell me tomorrow we're going to go do fitness at 9 o'clock and like four or three of us going to go and do fitness, I'll show up and I'm there and I'm ready. But then if you tell me tonight I have to go do my own fitness tomorrow at 9, 
that's tough for me mm. to do. So like, I know I've lacked some discipline in that way. So is that, is that motivation or discipline or both? I guess it's both. Yeah. So I'm asking you though, do you think that the idea of being motivated is over underrated? Like, if people put a lot of importance I on think that, they like. Discipline is more important than, than, than motivation. Yeah. So you would say it's overrated. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I would agree. But what kind of things do motivate you? It's like what Joey was saying is like for those people who feel more Win- winning. <laughs> <laughs> the results. <laughs> no, but what he said is like for the people, I don't know if that's what I am, but if for the people who are motivated 30% of the time, the professional ones and the disciplined ones still go and take care of their stuff, the rest, the other 70 or mm-hmm. as much as they can. You know, yeah. That's more important than if you want to do it or not. Like how many, pe- how many of the tennis players... Have you heard in the past say that they don't enjoy tennis that much and all that stuff? They're yeah. still working hard and doing shit. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was actually about to say that. Like, I was going to say, like, I can guarantee you, like, ha- half of the tennis players will be like, I don't like this sport. I'm just yeah. good at it, and I just keep doing it. You know, it's not like the motivation is necessarily, like, driving them. I think it's to, more like... To do better. I think it's more like they... A lot of tennis players are scared to do something else. Because yeah. you have to work so hard to get to a certain level. They play for so long. Yeah, it's hard to like don't know. Yeah, it's hard to like yeah, really like they don't necessarily maybe they don't necessarily believe anymore they can get to their goals, but yeah. then they're like they don't what really else know what else to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. And because I be- I believe yeah. that also it's very unrewarded the sport as a whole. Hundred percent. It's super unrewarded. So they, they have there must be some sort of like genuine love for tennis, like for people to play for so long. Yeah. So it's like a combination of like they actually like the sport and then they don't know what to do. Yeah, and then it's hard to let it doesn't go. work out. Yeah. And sometimes you don't know what you got to do till, till it's gone. Like, for example, there's like Nick Kyrgios. He's been notorious for saying he hates playing tennis and he hates traveling and he hates all this stuff. And if you look at his recent posts, like he can't wait to get back out there, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. miss competition, all this stuff. So I think, I think as humans, yeah, motivations, they come and they go and they change. But I feel like, yeah, discipline is definitely the more, yeah the more useful thing to care about, yeah. in my opinion. And Cause I've learned that my discipline is low. Yeah. Because <laughs> that for me is, yeah. <laughs> I feel like, for me, what motivating or what makes me do things even when I don't necessarily feel like it is like, I don't, I have a hard time with saying to myself, I'm going to do this thing and then not following through. So for me, it's like, keeping promises to myself. That's what kind of, when I'm not even like feeling like it, you have to kind of get up and do that thing. Otherwise, it doesn't, sit, it doesn't sit well with me. You said that to me on Tuesday or Monday, whichever day I had a day off here and I did nothing all day. Uh-huh. I literally laid on the couch. I said, how you day. live with yourself, dog? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, because that day I was supposed to you like... Feel guilty. I was supposed to like make... I, I get that. That's why like it's so tough for me to do rest days because it's like I am restless when I rest yeah. because I actually feel like I'm getting worse or oh, no. like I'm not... I'm behind someone. Oh, no. You two are super wrong. So easy You're to wrong. have a rest day. You're wrong. See right here? This part of the couch right there all day. Literally all day. I wake up. Curled up like this. Out. Yeah, watch the Olympics. You love your stuff, Daniel? <laughs> and then you practice and you come home. And you practice. When was it? I want to say it was Thursday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Uh-huh. Or it, was, it was Wednesday. You came off the court and you were like, Dog, I'm so lazy, bro. Why, why do I sit on the couch all day and come on practice and I die? Yeah. yeah so you regret it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but in the moments, I don't regret it. I regret it. You love it in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> the moment's all right, but you know it's wrong. Yeah. But but I will say, I will say, I'm not absolutely doing nothing. Like, I train, and after training, I do my stretching and stuff before I go to sleep. So I'm not, mm-hmm. like, tanking, you know? Like, before, I probably could be a little no, bit more. Like I could be a little bit more active. Like, not full tank. It's like 60%. Time. But I also think with your personality, like 50%. <laughs> I think for your personality, it's almost good to be on the the lazier side. I think when you yeah, maybe yeah. do too much, you stress a little bit more. Yeah. I think it's good for you to be a little bit more relaxed. So you yeah, gotta also kind of know yourself as well. That's a good one too, like knowing your personality. Like some people just, they need to chill out. Yeah. Uh, their mind is racing. Like they yeah. need to just chill yeah. and take a day off. Yeah, like he used to be like, I don't want to say tightly wound up, but like you'd be at tournaments and you could tell he was stressed. Yeah. I think he still has it to a certain extent where he's checking results and all these things. But yeah. before, I want to say Michigan State, before like, the semis or the final, he seemed pretty relaxed. Like, he's listening to music on his phone, mm-hmm. like, still making jokes, kind of laughing around. I'm sure he feels nerved inside, but yeah. he looks more more chill than before, where it looked like it was a bigger deal, in my opinion, yeah. from yeah. the outside looking in. I don't I, know how I, you feel. I think it's because I was on the phone yesterday. Someone asked me 
what's your right <clears throat> excuse me what's your ranking now and i was like yeah 320 he's like what's your goal it's like what's, what's your goal by the end of the year and i was like bro I, like i don't really think of it like that anymore like what what excites me is like getting into the next hundred so like when i was at 500 i wanted to get to 400 when i was 400 i wanted to get threes so now i'm 320 it excites two. me to get to the twos mm. yeah. but like I just remember that before I was writing goals down, like on my whiteboard and stuff, and I've talked about it on uh, an old episode, but I remember like I wrote my goals down on the whiteboard, like end of the year goals and how much points I need to get to that number. And like halfway through the year, I, I was just cleaning my room one day and I just came across the goal that was written down. And I was like, holy shit, I could not get to this number. Like it's mathematically not possible to get to this number. <laughs> And then I was like, like, what am I going to do now? Yeah. And then there was a huge letdown. So now it's a lot more like, I don't know, I have, I had like a certain plan with the doubles and I just... Take it the next step. Then, yeah, 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 I just... Yeah. And then right now, funny enough, like, I don't really know what my next step is because like I'm at the in-between where like, if I play with someone my ranking, I'm the one seed at Futures, but that's still not high enough as a team for us to get into challenges, you know? So then we have to separate as a team. I have to find someone high enough to get into a challenge. Who'll take yeah. a chance on you? Yeah, so yeah. someone has to take a chance, meaning like they have to play with someone that's like, yeah. I guess, unproven at the challenger level. Yeah. So, which is... Is, is that what you're doing this week? Yeah, um, I'm playing with... Uh, I'm playing with Kind of... No, I'm playing with Kind of Kingsley. Uh, and I, um, I guess, I don't even know for sure if I'm playing because he hasn't let me know because he was <laughs> feeling that's, some... That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I leave tomorrow, so... Hopefully we play. Tell us about your week dealing with that that situation. No, imagine imagine you show up and he doesn't come. He's there. Oh, he's there. He's there, uh, but yeah, like okay, he was okay. feeling some that pain. Means. He was feeling some pain in his wrist. But he texted me, what day was it? Like maybe two days ago. And he just said, I just woke up to the text. I was like, fuck me. Like, this is not possible. Like, he just said, yeah, he has some pain in his wrist. Um, He's seeing the doctor. It hurts on this shot and this mm -hmm. shot. He's seeing the doctor to see if he can play and i was like oh the f finally i got into a challenger and then and the probably get like, booted yeah. yeah that's crazy so then i started messaging everyone and their mother to play doubles like, if you looked at my dm you just see names down yeah. hey you want to play next week <laughs> like that that's that 3 a.m dms just that, he's, he's, hi 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 he's that one guy that everybody he's always asking everyone to play doubles. <laughs> yeah that, that was guy. me that was me and i felt like i'm selling my soul bro because like Sometimes you gotta do it with the tennis. But crazy. but the problem is, is that I'm not I'm not messaging people around my ranking because we're not gonna get in. So yeah. I'm messaging guys that are like in the verified verify guys like on Instagram. All blue ticks, everyone. Bang bang yeah yeah. They're like but, a groupie. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> to be fair to them, they all of them. I think pretty much all of them hit me back like within that evening or by the next day. But they were all like, "Yeah, go fuck yourself." Pretty much so. No, I'm just kidding. They didn't say that. If you're watching, loop that, that out. Loop that out. They didn't say that. But they they um. They What's that no. feeling like when you write in that text and you have to like kind of swallow your pride, pride and you just get a and you just send it out? What what are I you hate feeling? Is that hate? <laughs> like hate, hate towards Canon or just hate no, towards no, no, no? I feel bad for Canon because I hope yeah. I hope the rest is not. But you not hate the bad. situation. Just the situation just sucks. You. Like kind of aside, just messaging people. You feel like you're like, begging, bro. I've been doing that now for like a month because it's like in an ideal world, she he and I earn the right as a team to get into challenges yeah. but that's just not how it works like, and then every, combined, every week did you you don't play with him he goes that was another tournament too well not, i mean he lost <laughs> he lost it in the semi uh, but yeah he's been doing good yeah. like he's won two more futures without me i guess that's good for you though and yeah. it's not it's great it's maybe great. he doesn't need you whoa you can leave the house you, you, the, you, the front door is I there i don't understand why <laughs> we even do this podcast in the you, first place you, you, know? you can go <laughs> we hit a nerve we hit a nerve that's what's tough about it so yeah but yeah. hopefully Kana's wrist is good and I leave for Columbia tomorrow. And by the time this episode comes out, we'll see how the week unfolded because this episode doesn't come out for another week. So we'll see. Let's go. I got one more for you. I want you to rank this. What's the best, better feeling? Backhand winner line? Yeah. Ace? Forehand inside out winner? A forehand inside out winner. There's, There's some, one. Yeah. I would say backhand line is two. And ace is three. You got it twisted. Ace is three. Oh, I ace is I, one. I, I, hate, I hate aces all the time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think ace is one. Nothing no. better than hitting the ace, bro. Yeah, bro there's the nothing better than you don't play a point. There's nothing the better than hitting. You don't, you don't play the point. That's, that's actually true. But that, maybe that's situational. Though. It's like you're, you're dead tired. You need that ace. Okay, that is the best feeling of all time. You okay, you're serving for the match. You're serving for the match. Five, four, and the third. Okay. 
first point of the, of the game, you're serve, you want to hit an ace. I hit an ace. You know, no, nothing you feels know, better. You know, that's what I did. I was serving 5-4 in the match, second round of, of main. Against Ricky? Yeah, and I, I hit an ace, and then, and then Shane double fall. <laughs> <laughs> Very experienced oh, player. Oh, Very can, I just experienced say, player. can I just say that Jamaica was the first time I've seen you at Futures, right? Yeah. And I think Jamaica was at two different sites, so yeah, I really was. wasn't seeing Joey at mm-hmm. all because no. I played at one side, he played maybe match at the other side. But on this day, he's playing Ricardo, this exact match he's talking about, yeah. and I'm warming up on the court right next to Joey. And yeah. the space in between courts is tight. Yeah. So Joey's like, like, I think Ricky was playing well, so he was in form. Yeah. But he was very tired. And then Joey was also playing pretty well. And his three sets, they're both dying. Longest fucking match. And then Joey looks across at me at the end of, like, in the middle of a, middle of a game after a long point. He goes, this is what you guys do? This is, this is what you choose this? This yeah. is what you guys do? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That, I, I, I was struggling that match. That was, that was a mental battle. I was breaking the third. Served the match. You break. Yeah, you I was, break the second. Oh, my God. I think, yeah, I was up, I was up a break in the second. I was down a break in the first. Up a break in the second, lost a second, and then went up an early break in the third, got broken, went up a break again. It was like crazy. I broke my four all again in the third. It was emotional like, roller coaster. No, emotional roller coaster. And then I play, it's six all in the, in, uh, in the set. First one of the breaker, play amazing point, lose seven in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Like clockwork. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, I swear to God, played an unbelievable point, like hitting great balls. Come on. And then, like, miss foreign, double, miss foreign. You know, just, like, just went so downhill. Everything just went. Going, going for the, the inside is, out. The thing so is, down, yeah. What's up with you in that, though, by the way? As a, as a lefty. Oh, yeah, yeah. As you a know. lefty, you hit more forehands, line, and inside out than anybody I've yeah. ever seen. Well, the line, the line can be expected because it's, like, Sharik is always, like, just go line on every, on every foreign. No, I'm kidding. Not every foreign. But every, every short foreign, I like to take a line because just, I just feel it so much better. But the inside out, I don't know what it is, dude. I actually hit the inside in way better. But for some reason, the inside out just like it's it, it comes it's, to me. He's, he's, he's like, no inside out, buddy. Do it. I'm like, it's but so why, wrong. bro? It's so I should just go inside in all the time, and I hit it way better. Like I can hit loop, I can go flat, like everything. But when you play this way, and in my opinion, the forehand line, unless you hit in winners, yeah, I can run hit my forehand away from you into your weak side yeah 100 yeah, yeah, that's that, not the play, pattern that you I want to be you, playing when i play you it's so uncomfortable because you literally hit every ball to my back end yeah. and it's horrible like i literally i don't see a forehand <laughs> oh, the you first, should do the same thing to me in the yeah, first I know, game that's what I'm today, i saw your face and you just looked defeated no i was like i was like sick bro yeah, we, 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 we played we played four <laughs> points like long rallies each point and, yeah. and it's like yeah that's good yeah, yeah I, I was like, <laughs> no no that's typical that's nice i was like sick dude sick sick Tennis is fun. I feel I very motivated like, right now. Like, I'm thankful that Chris made me play uh, uh, Justin Perry. I'm thankful. <laughs> thankful. So we finished the last game today. He looked at me and said, "You want to play more?" I said, "No, I'm good." He said, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I was like, I was, I was hoping. I was like, "Bro, please don't, please don't destroy my confidence today. Please don't do it. I'm already feeling low. Don't do it to me." No, because it was like, oh my god, I was like trying to battle just to get a break back. Yeah. Like, I barely got it back. Like, I was like fighting, fighting. Oh my god, it was, was crazy. Funny. Crazy. But but talk more about that. So you played juniors, you got to like a pretty pretty good ranking. Yeah, and um, now you're playing professionally. And it took you a while to actually play tournaments because of the the no ITF points thing, and you yeah. didn't quite make the top hundred, so you didn't have those. I didn't have the junior reserve. So yeah, let's talk about your experience now. That playing. was such bad timing for you, no? Yeah, but also too, I didn't play my last year of juniors either. Like when I went into the twi- he's I, saying he would have been way higher than 108. That's what he's trying to say, but like. Like so, sud- so, suddenly, like, just su- seventy-two hum- humble flex. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I oh, you know. were seventy-two. No, no, no. no. Oh, I, I thought I, that, I know. I was okay. like, maybe I get to like seventy-two. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I no mean, self-confidence. The, the, <laughs> the juniors was a weird experience for me. I started playing ITS like late twenty twenty after okay. COVID kind of started to get a bit better. Uh, I went to Bolivia final and sent me a few like grade four, grade five, and then twenty twenty one. Had like a decent result at a grade one, quartered, semi dubs, or maybe final. I think it was semi actually. And then got up to like 150 pretty quick, like three, four months. And I think I got like 120 at the time. So I was going to go to Wimby, but I just ended up being so burnt out. Like I hated Europe. That trip, I absolutely hated Europe. You skipped Wimbledon? Yeah, well, qualies. But the thing is, oh, it's I like, said Roehampton. Yeah, it's like I'm not going to pay like. 
three k for a weekend. You know, like just a, yeah. what, you were the Louis first round. Sh shits and gigs weekend. <laughs> well, no, that year was that year was like crazy tough. Like all the guys that played that year are like really really good. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was like, it's not worth it for me to go. I remember I was I played a grade two before it as well, and like lost first round. I just did not feel it at all. Like I I hated it. Um, so I wanted to go home, and I had been on the road for like nine months. I hadn't been home in nine months. I see. Uh, yeah, I swear to God. I was just in, in like different places all the time. Like maybe I'd gone. At that time you were living in New York? No, I was in Atlanta during that time. Okay. Uh, so I, I remember I was in Bolivia for a while, beginning of 2021. I was traveling with uh, Juan Carlos Parado. Who okay. Who's pretty good now. It's a good player. Um, he was a little bit higher than me. He, he was always really good though. You could tell that he was going to be a good player. Um, so I was with him for a while. Then I went to Florida. I went to uh, Gomez. I think it was uh, Gomez. It's in Naples. Okay, yeah, that's uh, where like Mejia and those guys were. Yeah, yeah, that's time? yeah. Uh, Baker was there for a bit. Yeah, I was there. Um, so I went there and then kept playing uh, tournaments and then just it turned into like not coming home for like nine months. And I remember. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, no, and and what really put like <laughs> what really put like nail in the coffin? Nail in the coffin was crazy. Uh, I finished uh, a grade two in Cancun, semi the grade two. And uh, one Cancun doubles. will do it. One doubles, straight from Cancun. I I was in the I was in those like little uh, little shitty dorms on the side of the courts hearing the tennis balls like late at night. Yeah, and I'm on the. They have stories for juniors too. That's crazy, uh, bro. I think crazy. that they only have crazy. stories for pros. I also have a story for no, 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 no. I was I was throwing up everywhere that week. It was the worst week of my life. Worst week of my life. I had uh, weak stomachs, bro. I never had an issue there. Really? Well, to be fair, I don't think mine was from the food. Mine was from heat, uh, heat exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that could do it too. That was that, that's just a crazy sight, and all the bugs outside. That's a good combo. Oh, oh my god, I, <laughs> it was so unsanitary, man. Like I just I couldn't do it. Uh, so then I, I like, at the beginning of this podcast, yeah, like the first within the first ten episodes, almost every episode, someone would come and tell a ca Cancun story. You're bringing a bug. Yeah, we haven't. We it's been a while since we got yeah. Cancun. But uh, yeah, I mean, if story. someone, if you're a tennis player like at a decent level, if you don't have a Cancun story, you know, like you, you didn't. Are you really it. doing it? Yeah. Are you really, are you really like in in like the trenches, like yeah. doing it? Are you really? Oh yeah, there's no Cancun. So like, what are you gonna do? Well, yeah, that was big big scandal there. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna go into that. Yeah, I don't want to smoke. You know? I was gonna say, but then so, sorry. Continue now about. The junior with me. So then you get burnt out in Cancun and then you go. Yeah, Cancun. My parents call me. They're like, you're going straight to Europe to play. Because I had a, a couple of tournaments set up to play. I wasn't going to play any like, uh, um, I was still deciding if I was going to get into Wimbledon. You know, okay. It was like, you know, like three or four out. So I was like, okay, like I'll, I'll go to Europe and like just play on clay, you know, and just move like my whole summer to clay. I wasn't going to play um, hard courts or clay courts that year, like the nationals. And yeah. Um, so I think I took like, I, I I took like six flights just to get. I had to go to Hungary to meet a guy there. So I traveled alone by myself from Cancun all the way to Europe. Came to Hungary, uh, met like you know a family friend that's in the tennis world. He gave me one day to rest, like literally eight hours to rest at Hungary, and then he got me like two free weeks at um, uh, All In, you know Sanga's place. Mm -hmm. Picture this is my bed. Swear to God, like it's like a like a little bed that they put you in because I was dorming there for the for the two weeks. I think every, like, they, they purposely, like, did not speak to me all practice and were only speaking French. And I was like, sick, bro. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, I wouldn't understand any drill that they wanted me to do. And they were like, oh, this American, like, definitely can't play on the clay, whatever. Like, all this, all this stuff. And I was hearing it from all the players. That they, it sounded like, like he was sleep deprived, that, brother. That like he the, was emotional. Yeah. I was in he was an taking emotional it, state. He was taking it personally. I was in, I was in an emotional state, okay? <laughs> I, I swear to God, Justin hates me. Justin hates me. I swear to God. I think he hates everyone. So. I'm, go, I'm, I'm going home. I'm going home and crying in my bed after this. Uh, so can can you also now then? So you now you come to Florida after you you meet all of a sudden you start yeah, yeah. access right yeah well I, at first IMG and then I had like bad experience at IMG and then came around. Oh yeah, bad experience at IMG. I don't want you to hear you saying I hate Americans. What? See that? Brother. You see that? Brother. That's what they do. You know what I mean? He didn't go to Mex <laughs> he didn't go to Cancun or hey Mexicans. What, what are you mean? talking about, dude? Joe is like, a good guy. I'm just I'm just joking. I feel like a lot of people hate Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna get so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't send me death threats. I promise. It was just okay. a joke. Yeah. I was saying all that to say. So then you started playing futures, right? You get to the futures, you've played a handful of futures now. You played maybe like five to ten futures, I would say. Eight. Eight is between five and ten. 
Eight. It's actually smack dab in the middle. You know There's what I mean? Eight. Okay. Eight so futures. Five to ten futures. Yeah. What's your thoughts on, um, I guess, one, how did you do in these futures? And then two, the level and or the life, I guess, of, of futures. Like, what was your thoughts? Um, hmm. I think first off, players, players for the most part are really good. Like, it's it's hard to go in and feel, like, really confident that, Unless you're playing really well, but I feel really confident that you're just gonna go in there and whip everybody because everyone's really good. Everyone makes a lot of balls. They can do different things. Everyone's like different strengths, you know. Um, I think my first feature was in Turkey. I I got to last round of qualies. Um, How'd you get in? You didn't have any ITF points. Anything? I just shut up. Okay. I was just like. Because so for a while you were scared to like travel no, the tournaments. No, I just shut up because I was like 15 out. And I called the tournament director. I was like, hey, like, what What do you think? Like, 15 out first week? And he was like, just show up. You're probably getting in. Yeah, 15 so, out, I feel like you. So, uh, showed up, got in. Um, and, you know, it, that first week was pretty good for me. Like, good confidence. I was like, oh, maybe I can actually, like, play with these guys. And then I lose first round the next two matches. <laughs> uh, no, but the guys I played were pretty good. Uh, I realized after those three weeks, I was like, it's going to be pretty tough to get probably my first point, especially with no like uh, junior reserve and everything and not being in Maine and having to grind qualies because it's three. Most of the time it's three matches where you go. You know, the American ones are two, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But the. It used the, to be four. Yeah, it used to be used four. To be four? You used to go to the U.S. and know you're in for four days of qualies. My that's, first that's features, uh, my that's first features after school. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Listen to this. My first features <laughs> after school, uh -huh. I signed up for Indian Harbor, Florida. It was a 15. Mm -hmm. Maybe, it might have been a 10 at the time, right before they changed it. To oh, yeah, the 20. Yeah. But I was like way down the alternate, so I mm -hmm. played the wild card tournament. Yeah. I played five matches. I lost in the final for the main draw wild card, so I got a qualies wild card. Okay. Had one day off. I played two matches, two matches, one match. One day off. Then I played qualies. I played four matches, lost last round qualies. That's, so then yeah, I so lost. Tough. I lost in the finals of the wild card tournament. Didn't get the main draw wild card, and then the last round qualies. Didn't yeah, get the that's you got so you got tough. you got experience points though. You were match fit. I did. I you learned a lot. Match, I couldn't that's, walk that's a nice. That's a nice like little kind of group of results. That's like a. <laughs> that's like a nine and two. Right there. If those yeah, were main draw, yeah. you would have been. Yeah. Up the I, you know who I lost to uh, in the wild card tournament, Liam Caruana. Okay, okay, he's a good player. Yeah, I think he played for Texas maybe or he was going to or something. And he ended up playing for Italy at the end. Yeah, he, he was, was like good. maybe three, four hundred down or he was good. Yeah, good player. He yeah. played the next gen finals at one point. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's why I lost in the wildcard tournament. And then in that draw it was like Ketchmanovic played, um Ulysses Blanche. It was like three, four, five like guys who ended up being like very, very, very good. I think Tommy Paul was the one seed that week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's how it goes. Yeah. No more four round qualities. Do you think it's tougher now, qualies, than before, like level wise? I mean, there's definitely fewer bad players. Yeah, because fewer the, bad players. Obviously, it's because yeah. of the draw size. Yeah. And then I think, in general, tennis has gotten deeper. Into, like, there are, there are less, like, gimme matches. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you could show up to qualies and, like, play somebody who could barely play tennis. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't happen as much anymore. Like, most guys can Yeah, can, I, can I agree play. with that. I mean, there are obviously, like, you go to some tournaments or a few matches where you're like, damn, okay. This yeah, there's like, maybe a couple, but yeah, I feel like few. before there used to be, like, a handful or more. Like, you would uh, see, yeah. like, you're probably going to go easily through the first round of qualies and then maybe play one yeah, or two. Last two, yeah. last two are probably going to be yeah. you know, a little different. But, but I'm sure, I just feel like tennis has just has gotten better in general. How how like, do you how do you get into qualities if you don't like? Did they have transition points back then? They no. made not transition. Just huge no, draws. That's why. That's yeah. why. Oh, so it's just huge draws. So, so you just sign up, you'll probably get it. But that's the thing. It's like I didn't have a national ranking, so I was like, wait, I was like in the hundreds. So that's why I thought that there's no chance I get ten. That's why I had to play the the wild card tournament. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I played a bunch. I don't think I ever qualified at the one twenty eight. Like it's so physical, and I wasn't the best athlete. And um, yeah. What's different playing against like a junior and a and a man, like yeah, in man. terms of the competitive spirit, maybe the physicality of matches? Can you yeah. point anything clear to you? I think the higher level you go, and especially older players and stronger guys, the speed. So like when I play with you guys, it feels like the speed of the rally. Like with you, Evan. Like I would always say it to like Sharik and Chris, Hello? like. And <laughs> Yo, guys, man, Jody, Jody plays doubles. He doesn't this play singles with anymore. This man is disrespectful. He doesn't play singles. He doesn't play. He doesn't play singles with me anymore. <laughs> right, we played one set, huh? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I did. You won? Yeah, really? What are you talking about? 
Yeah. I don't remember. Where was this? The uh, uh, Delray. Beach. At uh, uh, the tennis center. Really? Yeah. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, okay, like, okay. Like I remember. Crazy. We're both throwing rackets. Like, getting oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, no, I remember, I remember, like, I was serving for the set, like, a 5-4, and, like, got broken. I just start chucking rackets. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts sucking rackets. He and you were up like a break in the beginning. I was like, oh my god, like crazy. It was great. Two lunatics on the court. Yeah, highly motivated individuals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hi- yeah, highly motivated. I remember that. I'm very disciplined as well. Very, I, was very, I think very your dad high, came high, up to me high. after, and your dad was like trying to give me some positive words. Yeah, but oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, affirmation. Positive. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's like your son just destroyed me, and then. I was supposed to go in and play Futures. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wasn't. I don't think I was playing anything. I was playing Bob. <laughs> every weekend. I was just playing Bob every weekend. And I, yes, sir. Getting my matches in. Court 12. My daily matches in. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. But sorry, I didn't. Let me interrupt. Interruption. You were saying the difference between the. I think, speed. I think yeah. the speed and the heaviness of the ball is completely different. Like, when I play with the juniors comparatively to professionals, it's like, it's so different. The ball speed, like, you have to be so much quicker with your feet. Make sure everything's super efficient. And, I mean, for the most part, if you're hitting short balls and, and you're not hitting with depth and and good spin on the ball and you're making sure that that every ball has, like, some sort of quality on it, it it's going to be so tough to win that day. Unless you're just a speed demon. You got to run. Yeah, unless you just want unless you just want to run that whole day, it's going to be really tough. I think you can get away with a lot more when you're playing a junior. Like, maybe hit a short ball, they miss a few. You know, I think... I would say that. I would say I think also yeah. juniors... Sometimes they have the ability to play really high level. Yeah. But then also they go in patches where sometimes they'll miss a few and they don't manage the moment very well. So yeah. they like they'll go away for a little bit and that moment can come at any time. Yeah. You know? Like even even today we played the doubles. Yeah. And it was for people who don't know, Joey and I played two guys that are in juniors and doubles. Yeah. And twice early in the set they aced me second serve out wide. Yeah. And I remember thinking like Okay, you can go. I'm on a do side, by the way. So they're going like slice out wide, second serve, like risky serve, ace. And I remember thinking, like, I didn't say this to you, but I was yeah. thinking, like, if you can do this under pressure, then fine. And then we got to the tie break, and the first time they went all wide, they doubled. Yeah, you doubled tie break. You know, and I was, yeah. that's what I was thinking. So like, I feel that way about juniors more is that sometimes they don't play as safe sometimes and they can just go away. Yeah, that's I agree with that. I mean, you see it in the professional level too. I mean, our futures, like, especially with, kind of the mental part of the game i think in every set you're gonna have at least one bad game where you have to like really make sure you take care of all the right things where it's like you might be serving and like maybe you throw in like a double or like a missed forehand or something like just kind of uncharacteristic and for the most part i see it uh like at least one game for the most part it's one game like you'll have one bad game where it's just like you can't really control like it's just gonna happen to some degree, but you have to make sure that you stay, you know, like super locked in for that game. Um, whereas with the juniors, it's like ebb and flow, you know, like two, three games are good, two, three games yeah. are bad, you know, but maybe a set's bad, it mm-hmm. sounds good, you know, like it can be, it could be so different with juniors. I felt that too in juniors, like, you know, and the ebbs and flows and the mental and like, you know, the bitching and crying is completely different. You know, you don't see it as much on, on kind of like the pro side of it, like, yeah, I mean, you see outbreaks, but I haven't seen very much like you know, like the cheating. I think and, like, they get it back stuff. together really quick. Yeah, well, maybe faster, not really quick, but quicker. Yeah. Especially, than, especially yeah. when you play like main draw and you play better guys, hundred percent. Like they have like, maybe a bad game, and then the next game they're locked in. They're back fighting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're not they're not going away. You know, I think even now that I play doubles, it's even more important to just like manage that really quick because yeah. doubles can get away from you very fast. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like, a lot of the times I play it, sometimes I have to, like, ask the referee to score. Like, I don't even know the score sometimes because, mm-hmm. like, I'm not even playing the score sometimes in-game. How do you know the score? Because I'm just not You're so playing. locked in on the process, brother. You got to yeah. learn. On Listen to the man, bro. He's yeah, the like, highest-ranked player at Access. You know that? Yeah, really. He's the highest-ranked player at Access. That is the guy of it. You know Come that? Come on, guys. Put some respect on his <laughs> 320, bro. Yeah, highest-ranked player at Access. Come on, big. 320 dubs. <laughs> That's yeah. All right, Joey. Then the first point came. Where? Where did you? Where did you achieve that? Greece. Greece. Battle through qualies. Uh, beat a really good guy actually. First round. Uh, played... How tight? How tight are you? Main draw? No, I was loose. It was my really? you beat no? No, you beat? no. I beat Thiago. Uh, I'm gonna Pereira. Pereira. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what okay. was, yeah. Like Five hundred now. At the time I played him, he was like seven. Okay. Like he, he won a few fifteens, and now he's like. 
500 for me. Yeah, I saw him in Tunisia. He was also winning like every single doubles too. Yeah. So explain that to me, being loose without having a point playing in the main draw. I don't know. I think I experienced that. I I came in there like not having great weeks before um, being in first round of main first week and and 3-0 double break up and being really tight and losing that match for my first point as well. Mm -hmm. That was like crazy experience. I think I was like on the brink of great deaths. I was just like, I'm good. <laughs> Let's just go to college and like focus on my academics. Become an academic business. Academic weapon. Mu mu you know. Music class. What do you call that thing? Yeah. Uh, popular, popular music. Yeah, popular music. <laughs> just like. You know those guys on the team that just bum the GPA? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's crazy. But I think I was just really loose. Like, my dad and I had talked about it. We were like, let's just get greedy. Because we were every match. To be honest, that first qualities match, I was there that third week. I was like, I, I, I don't want to be here. Like, my dad legitimately forced me to stay. I was like, no, nah, I want to go home. Like, let's just go home. Like, wrap it up. It failed, you know. Failed. Let's quit. Yeah, like, failed experiment. Not let's motivated go. anymore. Let's go. Let's no go. motivation. No, 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 no discipline. Swear to God. First, first <laughs> round of qualities, get broken first game I love. I was like... Sick dude. <laughs> Sick, dude. I was like, I was like, I was like, fuck everybody, fuck you. Let's just, and I was just like, I didn't care. Started slapping balls, go 4 1. What? Go 4 1, 4 all. <laughs> then when it said 6 4, and then go win 4 and 4. I guess they're a pretty good guy. He was like 1400, 1300, like ranked guy, first round. And then uh, second round, played decent. It was super windy there. So like conditions were like oh, yeah, wacky, very windy. wacky conditions. Uh, win like 6 and 4, and then played a decent guy. Uh, third round, um, you know the Ben guy from practice, the Israeli kid. Oh yeah, yeah. with the little stand. Okay, uh, I played him third round. Uh, beat you three and zero. By the way, let's just put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> he's always gonna be shit. Just, is so just, nice. just cut that out. No, we we got into a little family feud today. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's 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 wrapped and cooked. We 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 made up. We uh, right. kissed and made up. Um, That's crazy. Not right. not like you know. Okay. Uh, Girl, really. Girlfriend is right here. Yeah, I know. You cheated on her with a man? Crazy. Jealousy. Silent ride home. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's my car. What? How does that work? I'm thinking of that. I don't Who is wearing the pants in this one? Give me your keys. Give me the keys. No, and then and then first round, my dad and I were like, let's just get greedy. Because at that point, I was like, okay, maybe like... Define greedy, man. I don't understand what you're saying. Greedy. Like, let's get let's get greedy. Like, let's go for more, you know? Okay. Like, I, I kind of did what I wanted to do. Get You know, just get get back into Maine and just like try to give myself a shot for first point. And then we were like, let's just go for bonus. Let's just go out there and just ball, you know? Mm -hmm. um, ended up playing pretty well. Uh, the guy's very good, you know? Like, super good player. I mean, again, that's where I go to. Whenever I didn't hit a good enough ball, a good enough shot, he, he was on it like a like a bullet. Like I I, I didn't see the ball uh, after that. He was just winner winner winner. Like inside yeah, the court was amazing yeah, too. Like you can yeah, take the record. hundred percent those hands too. Hundred percent. It's almost freeing in some ways. No, when you know you have to play a certain level, it's kind of like well I have to play now. Like yeah. it doesn't matter because exactly. sometimes when you play someone who's not quote unquote that good or plays with less quality, yeah, you you don't feel like you have to necessarily. Go for your shots and do certain things, which can actually bring more attention to the match. More, yeah. I really think concerned about me with that. Like really sometimes with some of the draws, like he was concerned that I had too easy of a first round. Mm -hmm. or something. Like he'd almost rather me just like get into it. You know? Really, yeah. I, I'd rather have an easy first round, like get into the tournament and feel good, you know, and like work on stuff and like yeah. feel out everything, you know. Because I mean, yeah, first round you're gonna be tight, but you want something that's like really manageable. I mean, you go in first round and you're like playing tough guys. It's like you're like, damn. This is gonna be a long week, you know. But like he said, like you, you probably knew you had to play a certain level. It freed you up. Like yeah, you yeah, yeah. I knew how to play a certain level. I mean, a few matches than you were ready. You already qualified. And that, that was my thing. Like that, I, 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 I felt good. I was recovering well. Like that day, I woke up. I was like, okay, like I feel good. I thought I'd feel pretty bad because I've been playing qualies, and it, it, every single time I went deep into qualies draw, I felt horrible. Like mm -hmm. just I could not move. Didn't feel good. So I made sure I was, I was doing everything right to to feel good for that that fourth day and. I ended up just playing really well, serving well, um, returned decent. I mean, the guy, the guy is good. So I mean, he's gonna come up with good stuff. Um, I did get pretty lucky though. First set, uh, down a set point, <clears throat> like he had a four inside in. He comes in, and, like hits it on my feet, and I hit kind of like not a, gr a good enough uh, half ollie. And he, he, it's not like an easy shot. He still has to slide into it and and hit it there. But he just pushes the backhand line, uh, like sliding into it out, 
and then I was able to hold and everything. So I saved like a set point or two. And then I uh, played like an amazing breaker, like just winner after winner. <laughs> like it was just crazy. I don't know what happened. How was your dad? dad i never seen my dad so excited. Dog, his dad is locked for you. No, plays. oh my God. Like, In Jamaica, like just sitting there, just burning up in burn, the sun. Burning with the, with the hands on the, on the ledge. It's just like absolutely coaching me every point. <laughs> <laughs> I guess don't, don't get me out. Don't get me out. It's legal now. It's legal now. Shout, shout out to Pops, pops though. Yeah, shout, like shout out to Pops. Like yeah. big, big supporter. I think, I think that too is a big thing. Um, traveling alone for me is really tough. I think having someone that you really communicate with and le- on an emotional level because tennis can be really emotional. Yeah, I heard you, know, you don't even know good. how to wipe when your dad's not there. That's okay. what I heard. You know what? I mean, that's what I actually, yeah, we've had this conversation, no? We've, yeah, we, we had did. this conversation. We he, did. Was, he was like, he was like, giving me shit, but I was like, I'm not going, my dad's not going, bro. Like, he can't even tie his shoes when his dad's yeah. not there, bro. He said, I don't, I don't drink enough water when he's not there. Do my grips. Come on, dog. This guy. But this tell guy. me about his role in your development since, since you were young and maybe your mom too. Like, what were your parents' role in your development My mom has player? no idea about the tennis can't keep score like doesn't know what a forehand is no like doesn't know what a serve is that's nice she's, in some ways no? it's not it's it's good because when i come off the court of my dad's being like very you know like tennis parent like extra extra it's good to go to her and like talk out you know talk things out and and be able to to kind of get a different point of view from the outside because she always has like the mentality of like she always says she's like they're both very big supporters of my dream and of tennis so she's always like i know i know you're gonna do fine like i know you're gonna make it like don't even worry about it. You know, mm-hmm. where my dad's like, go out there and hit serves. Like, go out there and hit a button. Mm-hmm. You know. So, I think they're super different. But you know, she's, she's like emo- she's emotional support. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's more emotional support. Like when I need to like just really decompress, it's it's good to go to my mom. And then with my dad, it's it's good to go for the motivation. How's yeah. the girlfriend se- self talk with you? How does she? Good. I do the thing. She's good. Yeah, she thinks I'm shit actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, She's a big supporter too. So, I I have good people. I think I surround myself with with good people. Um, but I think, like I said, I mean, if you have the ability or the option to bring someone with you, whether it's like a parent or if you like have so much, parent, I think it helps so so much. Yeah. Like bringing a coach is like huge. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I think traveling alone is great, and being able to grow and be independent if you have someone too, like another player. But I think having someone that's like actually there to like be emotional support and go out to your matches and look Mm -hmm. is is a big thing because i i went to dominican without my dad and it wasn't like i i was like scared i've gone to many tournaments by myself you know but it's not like i can ask you know spencer to be like hey can you like you know watch my match i'm not gonna be like that you know what i mean yeah i'm not like i'm gonna watch his match i'm I'm lazy as shit after my match i'm like i'm you know just used to get i'm gonna take my my uber home you know, he used to get mad at me if I watch his match, but I'm like texting and stuff on the phone. Oh, so you're not locked in on the match? Yeah, so why even be there? Why Why, why be there? even be there? Why even be there? Go anywhere go else but him. Go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> God forbid your mom calls you or anything like crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Just an event happens and you're like, hey, what's up, what's up? He's like, get, get that out of me. It's funny because <laughs> it, it was the day that, I don't know if you know this story, our car got stolen. In Cancun. Cancun. Well, our rental car got stolen. <laughs> Like we woke up in the morning and the car's just not in the driveway. So now we have to deal with that. And Justin has a match to play. He's, not in the driveway. He's playing Nick Chappell. I'm playing Nick Chappell. You know I, I know the name. He'll right. make a million balls. He will die on the court before he lets you win. Yeah. And Justin, I lost six in the third, by yeah. the way. So, so That's great. I'm dealing with text messages about the car. Mm-hmm. Justin's <laughs> playing. Like I'm not on Justin's court here. He's on the, the court next yeah, to it. By the building. Two two. Yeah. 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 So, I'm, so I'm watching from a court away and apparently... You were Sometimes locked, he would like. That's why he lost. That wouldn't go so far. I wouldn't go so far. You know what I mean? I have a little bit of accountability. This is a problem. They don't have accountability. You know? Yeah. I just 100%. took accountability. I just did it. You know? Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, but like I was but saying. since then, my phone's in my pocket. My phone's like. Oh yeah, phone's in your pocket when you're watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Airplane, airplane mode. No. So now you pick and choose. You pick and choose when you come to the matches. Like if you're like, I don't, I want to be on my phone right now. You don't go. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I go to the matches. Go. I haven't, been, I haven't been that many matches to go yeah, through. Fair enough. <laughs> that, 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 that. True that. True that. Fair enough. No, but I think it's it's tough if you're going with someone like just kind of different. It's I mean, unless you're really really tight, like you yeah. guys are, it's it's gonna be tough to be like, hey, like come and watch, yeah, yeah, you know, come and support. It's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a different kind of kind of thing. So I think it's it's good to have you know a parent or mm-hmm. or someone you really like to travel, even okay. train or whatever. It is. Uh, what roles did your parents play? My parents. Um, like even as a junior, like growing up, like I didn't play much tennis until I graduated high school. By my senior in high school, back home, I played once a week, and then when I got to Florida, I was away from my parents. So 
interested in it. No, like my, my dad was working. My mom wasn't big into tennis. So early on, I would only play with my dad sometimes. So my dad. Why did you start playing tennis? Like young, my dad played. Oh, okay, so, okay. So, but, but then my dad wasn't in tennis at the time. My dad was in politics. He had a, a different job. Ooh, political. So yeah, so I grew up just playing with another coach. Yeah, I would play with my dad sometimes. I played yeah. with other coaches. Um, and then when I got to Florida, my dad wasn't. He wasn't there. My dad was back home. Yeah, I mean, of course. So, but my dad plays a different role in the sense of like, he'll still talk to me and watch my matches all the time and. Like, he helps me communicate to sponsors if I need. And he helps me plan if I need flights. So, so dad's lives a manager-ish. Kind of. I mean, yeah. I still do a lot. Yeah, mostly. Like, yeah, that, my that's, dad my, is... that's my working kind of relationship with my dad. Obviously, he's my dad. But he's, like, manager slash dad slash yeah. travel coach, you know? Yeah. Like, all kind of three. I mean, he's not going to manage everything. But if he needs to help me with this or that, you know, obviously. Wipe in on... Like wiping and all that, like tying shoes and yeah, yeah tying yeah, tying shoes. <laughs> hey, go get my fucking water, bitch. <laughs> Where the fuck are the bananas? You might need to talk into that. He's more. He's more of be like eat the fucking banana, dude. Yeah, exactly. like, what That's are you what doing? To say your dad, there's no way you could even kind of say that to your dad. No, oh my god, oh my god. No, my dad's not gonna watch this. You think I'm sending the link to my dad? I oh will. Where? Time don't, stop for this he, moment. He, yeah. My dad doesn't even know to work YouTube, all right? He's not going to be able to watch the video. Like, <laughs> You're making it worse, bro. He's going to see this. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> With the glasses, he's like, what the hell's going on here? I can't wait till you get in trouble. I'm definitely getting in trouble for this. I'm definitely getting I'm 100% getting it. Remember the, um, we did the, the Not Your Country Club, the mm. Fast 15? Yeah. I actually got in trouble after that. Because with, with, your, with who? <laughs> with, with my, parents, my, my my father wasn't very happy with the answer I gave. They they asked better coach, mom or dad, Damn. and jokingly uh, I said I said mom. Yeah, but he didn't he didn't appreciate that because like, do you want to clear that up now? Yeah, yeah, I might I might need to. So <laughs> <laughs> taking accountability here. Yeah, yeah, this is the this is what I'm good at. Episode. So like growing up. My mother was much more of the like emotional support. Yeah, yeah. she like she liked to watch me play because the first time she saw me play, I played. You know, Aaron Strong. Maybe you didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. I I played this girl, Aaron Strong, and she was very good at the time. I think a year older than me, and she was good. And I just started playing, and she beat me. Mm -hmm. And I cried on the court, and I didn't shake her hand because I lost. I was a sore loser. Damn. I sat on the ground, face into the court, banging the. I don't want to lose that. that. So she never watched me play again after that. But she was more like, she would ask me questions about like how I'm dealing with, like, she would ask me stuff like, what kind of person do you want to be when you lose? Like, do you want to be that kind of person? Like, yeah. she would make me think. Yeah. And then she would kind of like, I used to play with a hat. She would write down like, shot selection, positive, all these kind of things. And then she would like keep me in like a mentally good yeah, space. Yeah, would I would be say. on the hat? Yeah, yeah. So oh, like, like, if I, I would like look in the hat is that, when is I was that, young. Is that ITF? Uh, that's definitely is, is that, that's this, definitely this was BLTA under 12s and okay, 14s. So like I was, I was yeah. eight, nine years old. We like, will not like, be catching you wearing that hat because I would love <laughs> to take a picture with that. I've worn a hat in years. Iconic hat. You still have that? No, but I have pictures. She might have pictures somewhere. Yeah, but, we, we but, but so she would help me in a certain way in tennis. But she wasn't like involved. But my dad was like, he was everything. He was like, he would go to work all day, come home after work at night, and like he'd be in the bed like throwing balls to me, I'll be volleying to him. My mom would be in the bed there, like, if you hit, a, if you hit me, I can hit your back, I can get out of my room. And he would, like, he was the financial support. He was, he would come to every match I was playing, especially in the Bahamas, like, he would be at work, yeah. maybe on a weekend or something, or doing something important, he would come to watch every match. And he was very involved all the way through. And he would be the one actually out there feeding me extra balls off. I would go to practice before school, he would take us. So, so my okay. father is... The coach of the family. Like you don't have enough time to get that in the past 15. You know? No, I can't explain that with nuance in the past 15. I'm not trying to make a little bit of a joke, but I love you both very dearly, and <laughs> we are all one. It's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a union. And when I make it, we will all go on vacation together, and I'll pay for it, and it will be, it will be great. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Should we get into some games? Let's do it. Hey, guys, quick break. Justin here from the changeover. I'm gonna talk about Pro Stringer. It's a great machine that I use, Jody uses, and a lot of other pros use as well. You can use it at home, on the road, really anywhere there's a tabletop surface. 
It takes me about 25 30 minutes to string a racket on this machine. It is easy to travel with, fits in carry on, suitcase, tennis bag, no issues at TSA. It's a big money saver. And you can save even more when you use our code CHANGEOVER to get $100 off the machine. Back to the episode. Some jueguitos? So, Joey, yeah. this man is extremely defeated. Like, I was going to say undefeated, yeah, but he's I extremely lose, defeated. If I lose to Jody, I am. Um... Jody's not won once. So, we're going to go best well, best three out of five. So, first one to get the three wins. Okay. I've got five questions, six questions here, but... What, it's like a right and wrong kind of question? You or just or shut out the answer. But if you shout out the answer and you're wrong, you have to let him answer and you get a second chance. And I if don't you have to shout, by the way. You if you say. both Yeah, that, that brings up like my <laughs> interest out there. If you if you both miss twice, we just leave the question alone. I'll okay. Go to the next one. Yes? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. And if it's not Okay, fuck it. We good. Oh, right, we, we, number one. Okay. Come on. Come on. Translate. 30-15 to English. I mean to French. Tronc. 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 Huh? What did you say? Huh? Huh? Wait. What did you pronounce this now? Be honest. Be honest. What, what did you pronounce? How did you pronounce the second word? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's, making, no, he's making a poll of me. I got it wrong, obviously. No, no, no. no. no I, I'm not sure. Trans cons. do this on the internet. Trans cons. How do you say it? Guns. Guns. Oh. Did you, did you had a you Z in right. there? You were right. Okay. No. You were gonna say no, no, he didn't have a Z. I, I, I was he, just said, he said, he said, he said, Kung. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't. Oh, I wasn't sure. No, it's with an S. That's I didn't know the end of the okay. word. Okay. I knew that. I knew what. I knew what fifteen was. I just didn't know what. Uh, oh, okay. Are you serious? Sorry. So I don't. We don't get half the points. No, I, I get said one 30, point. He said fifteen. He said, he said both. He said both. He said. He said. He said. Tran. Copy it off for me. Well, wait. What did you say? First one to get it right. Hold on. What did you say? What did you say? No. You said I said it right. No. 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 I got the point. I got the point. No. 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 Bro, I I got the point. I got the point. Can you say one more time? Joey, did you cheat? Can you say one more? I, what did Joey, I cheat? Listen, just how listen. do I cheat? How do I cheat? I'm asking you. How do I cheat? Listen, I'm asking you. I don't have a phone. Listen, listen. <laughs> say, say the word. Trans cons. Oh no 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 no. Come on, come on. That's not it. That's allow not it, it. Allow it. Allow it. Allow it. Skip it. Skip it. Okay, skip it. Skip fine. it. Skip it. That's that not right. Here. It's not trans. <laughs> okay, I'm not French. Neither am I. I don't, like the, I don't like the French. I don't like the French. That was the point. Anyway, was it Spanish at first and then because? Go on. Go on. No, 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 no. It was always French because the it would have been too easy. They had France. I was just that would have been too easy. All right, so zero zero. Okay. We have two incompetent players here today. Okay, <laughs> okay. Come, on. come on. Which player said this quote? I think grass is for golf players. Ah, uh, rude, Casper. Yes. One zero. Are you not on the screen? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this man. one. It's happening again. Is there's an answer, and then if you can further explain it properly, you can get a bonus point. Oh, right. So it could be a killer right here to the game. Yeah, this could be. What's this about? Yeah, this could be something serious. Seems a little complex for that. How many oceans are there? Seven. Oh. Six. You can only answer one. You're out of it now. Four, five, three. <laughs> My God, I can't man. What are the five oceans? Oh, oh no. Yes. No, oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people are this gonna, guy is, first of all, people are going to flame me on, on the internet because it's seven continents. It's like, <laughs> it's like four or five oceans. So Talking I, to I the mic. The Talking to the mic. I think I just made the most. People are going to flame me on, his, on, on everything. No, that's guys. my fault. Please it's don't, still 1-0. Please, one zero. please don't clip me. Don't clip me. What please. is this game? still 1-0. It is what it is. That, that could go by. We're going to go math. Wrong, like, I was don't thinking, do that. I, we're I gonna, we're gonna go confident. mathematics, guys. You're, I, I, I did. Uh, I'm well, no, 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 no. We have to do it. Okay, fine. I'm not good at math, even though I'm gonna be a finance major. What is 41 minus 17? Dude, don't give up. 34. So. What? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Can you please go? Can you please oh my God. repeat the question? I, I don't know. 41 oh minus 17. Oh my God. I just gave it to you, bro. 41 minus 17. You don't, you don't understand how challenging this is for me to do. You can't cheat like this, brother. 24. Do, do the math in your head. 24. I couldn't see what she did behind me, so I she can't said say this. Alright. 1 1. Jesus. I meant to say 24, dude. I didn't mean to say 34. 1-1. Oh, 1-1. Hey, one, 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 one. 
I'm gonna get flamed. Good. Is it still on? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Who is the youngest player in the top 20? Alcaraz? Dude, this guy might win today, brother. Dude, I was thinking Alcaraz. I didn't think <laughs> it was that easy, bro. What is Yo, this man might win today. Trick Come questions. Come on. I'm going to clutch. Don't worry about it. All right. What is the Wait, largest on, on. ocean? Can, can you... Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Who finished that sentence first? Dude, I, the, 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 he said the ocean. ocean. But I didn't say ocean. Run it back. Can we rewind that? That's 2-2. Two, two. Okay. This is this is the tie break. <laughs> What's this about? <laughs> <laughs> this is about pressure. Yeah, Justin might actually like can, me. Can we actually? Yeah, go on, go on. Two two. What is the capital of California? Los Angeles. No. Yeah, I have no clue what it is. You know uh, it? I was guess. Yeah, I think I think I think I know what it is. I was guess San Diego. No. San Fran. No. Fudge. Yo, we're gonna. This is crazy. We're actually gonna get ripped. This on, is the dumbest. We're gonna get ripped. We're gonna get ripped. Dumbest online. game. This game get makes no online. sense. We're tennis players. Can you ask me a tennis question? We're gonna get ripped. Can you online. answer this question for me we're first? Get ripped on. Oh hi. Is it? Is it? If if I start rinsing off a bunch of names in California, I have to hit it at some point, right? Well, no, you have to let me go, no? No, no, now we can just go crazy. No. I'll give you guys one more guess each. If not, we go tennis question. Sacramento. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. G- GG's in the chat. And there you have it. Jody is O and whatever the number is now, bro. GG's in the chat. <laughs> I do a good job of making my guests. Uh, yeah, hey guys, you know, feel like they got something out of the out of the night. <laughs> That's the incredible level for me there. <laughs> hey, well played. Too good on the day. Huh? Too good. Too good on the Too good. Too good. Yeah. Yeah. Traditional. Um. All right, people. Joey, thank you. Yo, yeah, I have uh, one shout out. It was. Sorry, this is a kind of weird timing to do it. Yeah. But a listener of the show and a good friend of mine, Finn Meineke, just had his first child. Oh. And I, her name is Viana Shikari. Supposed to be after the very fast U.S. sprinter Shakira Richardson, no but Finn is very slow, and he his daughter is not going to be fast, so that's kind of a crazy name to give her. But uh, happy for you, bro. You and Jeanette, and love you guys, and all the best. Congrats, congrats, Joy. Thank you congrats. for coming. Thanks Appreciate for it, guys. Hope you had a good time. time. Enjoyed it. It was good. It was Thanks good. I liked that. it. Yo, and Finn, you gotta buy a hoodie, bro. You told me you gonna buy a hoodie. You haven't done it yet. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, people, so, I, wait, are you talking to me? Finn, Finn. Oh, Finn. Finn. Yeah. Shikari's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, don't forget, we have the, the pro string in the shop. We have the merch uh, in the shop as well. Sorry, we don't have the pro string in the shop. We have the pro string at discount code, $100 off. Code changeover on code changeover in the pro string in the shop. Save $100. And we have some merch in our shop in the description below so feel and, free to check it out and Joey has Sigrun don't, Sigrun don't guys my <laughs> affiliate code in my, in my bio hey guys I'm Joey Phillips and this is okay. my <laughs> no this is the soup it wasn't, soup, th- it wasn't th- that bad huh? the, the super matey and <laughs> come play tennis with me okay yep come play it's, it's me, more me, like this meet me on the courts <laughs> meet me on the court bad bitches <laughs> All right, people. Joey, thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you, guys. Uh, see you guys I appreciate next week. it.